Hello friends and welcome to another modern stream. Today we're going to be having some fun with Bomat Courier, playing a deck styled after uh, our friend M. Hayashi. Just an amazing deck builder. Um, builds all kinds of fun things using mountains and Urza Saga. Um, saw this list, uh, they put up onto YouTube, got a trophy with it, and I was uh, really, really uh, stricken with it. I thought it was super cool. So this deck is incredibly low to the ground. We've got a ton of one drops, which is also very good with the synthesizer. You want to have a, a, a generally a low mana value when you're using this card. All one drops, and these are honorary one drops as well. Um, there is one difference from between the list that I'm piloting today and the one that uh, M. Hayashi was running when uh, he got the trophy. I'm switching out Relic of Regenitus for Monastery Swift Spear. While Relic, Relic of Regenitus is um, an amazing card to be able to eliminate the opponent's graveyard, and we're definitely going to miss it if we run into Dredge or Living End. Excuse me. Or even, uh, is it Murktide? The Monastery Swift Spear is more according to the plan of the deck. And that gives us an extra one-drop creature, so we're going to have more hands where turn one play a creature. Um, that's kind of what I'm into. All right, let's uh, head into the queue and see how we do. All right, here we go. Been a minute since I played some modern. Let's have some fun. Oh, two companions. A little bit land heavy. So this is going to be um, Shadow, Grixis Death Shadow, nice draw, That's a pain. Ledger Shredder's in my way. Hmm. Kind of stalled here for a moment as we wait for the opponent to uh, resolve their Mishra's Bobble trigger. Just have to practice patience while uh, we wait, I guess. Tech like this, I'm trying to, you know, play some fast leagues. But opponent is not going to let us do that. All right. Um, get a lightning bolt. So this Ledger Shredder is quite effective at keeping this Swift Spear back. But that also means it's not attacking. And their life total is shrinking. We have 8 damage in hand. Oh, uh, it's going to be 5 damage in hand in a moment. Uh, 
There's a shadow. And a Darcy. So yeah, now they have no problem coming in. They've got some great defenses playing those two further creatures here. going to use this uh, hopefully to block the shadow and I think we just like maybe hmm, maybe we wait so that the shadow isn't quite as big but I'm thinking I could go like spike field hazard skewer the critics but then if they have a removal spell I'm probably just dead right so maybe we just pass the turn here and then on their end step we can um, crack the spell bomb do them to spike field do another one Yeah, Brickadim, I'm mostly playing Popper nowadays. Um, I'm not as in tune with the Popper meta lately, but um, yeah, I kind of feel like uh, there's definitely still some room to play around in the format. Just doesn't. Uh, ooh, there's a fatal push. Just doesn't seem to scratch the same itch anymore. Still love being able to play some red decks, Yogmoth combo all the time. Oh yeah, Doxy. Well, you can thank M. Hayashi for this list, more or less. So that's 10, 13. Oh no, and then the fetch land. I think with the fetch they can kill us. Of course that would be risking lightning bolt, I think. Jeez, so close. Yeah, that's 16 exactly. I guess we could we could pirate spell bomb the Darcy, and then Spikefield hazard it, and we survive. Oh, did we just steal this game? So smart and handsome. I thought we lost that one. Thought we lost that one. All right, let's see what Banana Hammock has to say. Play Popper every Wednesday. Just trying to embrace that and make the most out of it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, that, that is definitely an issue, Brookadeem, and one of the things that I love about uh, rental services 
being able to switch up my deck over and over without having to sell my collection or anything. It's great. Uh, I think Blast Zone is kind of cool in this matchup. I also think Magus and the Moon could do a lot of work. They are Grixis. So maybe we just take out the Urza Sagas. Bring in Blast Zone and Magus of the Moon. Uh, we'll have to take out something else. Could take out the Spell Bombs. They don't seem to be too good. And we don't have the Urza Saga anymore, so we're not able to search them out. And um, yeah, I don't think we really need it. I think Magus is probably better. And, uh, like, I don't know what um, your situation is, but uh, if you're talking about paper, um, some people, you know, like, will lend you a, a deck. Uh, I think, you know, it's really, really cool. It really caught me by surprise um, the first few times it happened. But, yeah, some people are happy to, you know, just, here you go, you want to try this deck? Here, try this one. Here, try uh, Burn. Here, try Tron. Here's Death Shadow. Try it out. Yeah, with Popper, it's not too hard, because, you know, you can spend, like, $5 and get all the new cards. Probably even less than that. Uh, okay, we've got two lands here. We include the Spike Field Hazard, which I am including. Uh, yeah, keep this. Oh, it's a Ragavan. Okay, well now, with this extra land, I'm not so sure I want to play this as a... Uh, as a land. I think I'll use it as a spell to kill Ragavan here. Now I'm thinking I probably want to wait until combat, right? So they can't dash another Ragavan in. Well, there's that basic. We have a lightning bolt, though, for their shredder. That's big. Bolt that. And I think we'll suspend a rift bolt. Oh, here comes Ragavan with Dash. Nothing we can do about this one. They pull a Bomat Courier off the top of ours. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to cast the Bomat? They are casting the Bomat Courier. I mean, it's a blocker for our Ragavan, so it makes sense. Base is the place. Ah, we just can't quite get this Ragavan to uh, connect here. We could, we can't quite give it first strike. We don't have the mana for it, right? I guess we could play Ragavan as a creature and then throw six damage at the opponent. Alternatively, we could skewer the courier and then dash the Ragavan, hit the opponent.
Ooh. Worst case. Should have left that rag van in hand, obviously. We need one more land in play for either of our lands to be doing anything here. Or to cast the uh, the Obosh. Oh, geez. I guess with the treasure, they're probably just going to cast this Kroxa, huh? I lose my Obosh that way. I think we're losing this one. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have a chance. Although with the opponent's three cards in hand. You could easily have, like, uh, Drown the Lock here. Yeah, Drown the Lock. So I should have just done the bolt during my turn, but then they would have the drown on the lock to hmm. So yeah, I should have done the should have done the bolt during my turn and then maybe they wouldn't hold up the drown. I guess they could just drown this, right? But like what I was really trying to draw into, I guess, was land for Ramanap ruins and they couldn't counter that. But yeah, obviously we uh we die here. We get the play. They have been some really close games, though. I kind of feel like um, if we had made, you know, like a better decision at some point, game two, that we could have gotten that one. Um, this one here, easy mulligan. We have no lands. Another hand with no lands. Brutal. We have 24 lands in this deck. Alright, keep this one, get rid of Lava Spike, and maybe we get rid of Hazard, hope we draw another land. Yeah, uh, for the most part, I totally agree with you, Mox Mage. Um, who wants to spend, you know, like over a thousand dollars on a, a format that you know you've never played before? That's such a huge risk.
Death Shadow. I don't think we're going to play that one. Just nice to take it away from the opponent. Okay, well, you're pretty lucky if you're able to do that, to, uh, to sell your deck and come out even. Oh, you bought the Yawgmoth deck and you haven't been able to play it? Brutal. Sorry to hear that, friend. Deck is super fun. Nice. Oh, Dress Down. So they no longer have Haste. Okay. Yeah, that works. Oh, and the Ragavan comes back now at end of turn. So I think that used to be bugged. That the Ragavan was uh, staying in play from the Dress Down. I've been noticing quite a few things have... Uh, been getting better on Moto lately. My Swift Spear. They're definitely going to cast that. I think if I do nothing here, they're just going to attack with Swift Spear. We could, like, I, I'm thinking about this Blast Zone here, but I um, don't really want to move in on that unless we're getting a two for one. I could just put Obosh to hand and hold up Spike Field Hazard for their Ragavan. Oh, that's a Kroxa. Yeah, definitely feeling the uh, the loss of um, what's the name? The relic of Progenitus. Mishra's Bauble. This Swift Spear is going to be big enough to kill Obosh. Oh no! Unholy Heat takes out the Obosh. We are out of gas. Jun Saga? I actually haven't played that deck.
I think that it's definitely a, a great option. Oh no, Drown in the Lock. Super grindy too, isn't it? Well, I think that we've lost this one. Oh, yeah. This is a little 11 life. Board like this. We have nothing left. I mean, we can blast zone, get rid of two things, but they still have Kroxa. That's what we get for taking out Relic of Regenitus. We get beat by Kroxa. Yeah. I like this hand. Uh, I think we'll start with a Beaumont Courier. I mean, I can uh, I can find lists pretty easily um, through MTG Goldfish, but uh, if you like, you can send me a whisper, because most people can't put links into chat, and I can take a look at the list later. No, my courier! And they have a lava dart for my ragavan! Well, let's see if they're going to sacrifice that mountain. Oh, they have a gut shot? Are you kidding me? Well played, opponent. Well played. I wonder if they're playing Kiln Fiend. This is looking like Hut Dogs. Is this a popper deck? Oh no, wait, they have fetch lands, not a popper deck. Now, at least we know they're not going to hit us with a fire blast. Ooh, no play with the two red mana though. Got a lot of damage just waiting here. We could also make a Karnstruct. Okay, thank you. Take the one. They're going to gut shot us. There's the lava dart too. What's left in their hand? Do they have muted TBR? They have TBR, we're dead. Oh my god. Well played, opponent. This is like, we are, we are fighting against hot dogs here. This is crazy. Who needs Kiln Fiend?
keep this. Leaving the mountain up so they probably have something to take care of this Bomat courier. Considering what we've seen of their deck, where it's all like lava darts and gut shots, I think they certainly have something here to take care of the courier. Okay, there's a fiery islet. Lightning bolt our creature down. And back to us. I think we're probably going to put Obosh to hand here. Oh, there's Kill the Fiend. We could hit it with a Rift Bolt. But if they have Muta, they get to save it. Get Synthesizer. Uh, I guess we'll start with Synthesizer, see what we uh, reveal here. Bomat Courier. Oh, no mutagenic growth. We get to kill their kill fiend. Very nice. Oh, hey, it's Darcy. An Alpine Moon. I imagine Alpine Moon would be naming Blast Zone here. Yeah, they do name Blast Zone. Get a Ragavan. Uh, Ragavan's not going to be able to attack too well into this. Uh, I think we might flip Synthesizer here. I think I might want to keep the spike in hand since we have the mana for Obosh. A spike in hand is worth uh, double of what I could spike with right now. Alright, so they gut shot the Ragavan. Setting up their draw for the turn. Here's another Kiln Fiend. They only have one card in hand currently though. Okay, they draw a card with Fiery Islet. They have a dart as well in the graveyard. Another Synthesizer. Hmm. So, we got a couple options. We could play Obosh attack. We could Den of the Bugbear attack. We could Synthesizer, see what we flip.
pretty close between these two here, playing one of these cards. Because like we we play Synthesizer, we reveal land, we get to play Obosh. Uh, not if it's down to the Bugbear though. Yeah, flipping down to the Bugbear wouldn't be too hot. Could also make another 2-2. Two -two. Obosh does set up lethal for next turn. I don't think we're going to die. But, you know, famous last words, right? Attack with Samurai. And play Obosh. So Samurai has an even mana value, so would not get the, uh, the buff from Obosh. Crash through, gives them trample. Lava Dart with Flashback at my face. Set up the draw for the Crash Through with the Darcy here. I mean, they have a 4 mana Darcy in Popper. Nobody plays it, obviously. Who wants to pay 4 mana for a 3-3 three, three flyer? But uh, it's there. Ooh, Apostle's Blessing. Protection from white, so I have to block this with Obosh. At least we got a lot of toughness here on this. Oh, Mutagenic. Saves the Kiln Fiend. Keeps it healthy. And we're just taking a ton of damage here. Opponent has one card left and had another Mutagenic Growth. Are we now dead? Yeah, we're toast. Wow. Okay, Modern Hut Dogs. Well played, opponent. Oh uh, yeah, we got tons of lands, a bunch of critters. Let's get get going here. Keep this. Okay, so it looks like we're playing against Burn. Let's get this Bomat Courier charged up. Get some cards under it. We're only going to be doing one damage anyways. Whether it's a Swift Spear or a Courier. Guess this is one small advantage we have against the classic burn deck. Our lands, uh, we aren't fetching for them. We're not taking, you know, three, we're not bolting ourselves for our lands. But uh, we are pretty vulnerable to um, Idle Honor the Great Revel.
Rift Bolt and Exile. Actually getting kind of close to uh, using Double Spike Field to try and kill a Swift Spear. Kind of risky while they have open mana, though. Probably better to just send these to face. Lightning Helix? Well, now that they've uh, powered out the Helix, they have no mana untapped here. Kind of feels like we're... Okay. I was thinking, like, if this is going to be held back as a blocker, but they did gain that life, so they're probably in no uh, actual danger of dying here. We lava... Let's see, how much damage is, is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? 14 damage? That, uh, that helix absolutely saved them. And we're probably dead. Ragavan might hit a Helix. That would be so epic. We would have the mana to cast it. What a gamble. What a gamble. Because we're going down to seven. They're going to have three cards in hand. Not seven, sorry. We're going down to five. So the likelihood of us dying is super high. These were actually lightning bolts, who would be fine. It's a goblin guide, not a helix. Uh, being on the play versus being on the draw right here in action. And like I said, we would have been fine, but that Lightning Helix, such an epic card in a burn mirror. All right, Rift Bolt faces the place, right? Oh, they play a land. They draw a card. Skull crack, tap out. They've already played a land. We just block here. And I think this is GG. So that's three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Awesome. Let's go. Make sure we cast it. Don't want to play it. <laughs> that would lose us the game.
Come in for damage. Let's go. We got lucky there. Opponent was flooded. They didn't have spells in hand. They had lands. <laughs> Just go ahead and discard our hand. Draw with Bowmat. No reason. Uh, let's bring in Shadow Spear here. We could bring in Blast Zone. To hit their, you know, like, Swift Spears and Goblin guys. But I don't think that's great. I kind of think we might be better off having the Urza Saga in the deck so that we can grab Swift Spear out of it. I do like the Spell Bombs. Not a huge fan of the uh, Spike Field Hazards in this matchup, though. The, re the reason is the BM. I mean, BMing is its own reason, of course. This is how we teabag in magic, yes. Activate my bow mat. And banned. You do realize that I'm a Yogmoth player main, right? Who cares? Some people, they just can't accept the beauty of mountains. I, I feel sorry for anybody that doesn't realize that uh, Basic Mountain is the best land. I think a lot of people would. Yeah, but what about islands? Right, Brookadim? It's a stereotype that has gone on for too long, I say. Yeah, but what if somebody uh, thermocarsts your snow mountain and gains a life? What then? That is not by the philosophy of Burn. Is this some kind of a budget deck? Budget deck with Ragavan and Urza's Saga. Yes. So um, this is a list that uh, more or less M. Hayashi posted on YouTube uh, a couple days ago and got a 5-0 with it. Uh, I think it's just really cool. I love playing with Bomak Courier. So I saw the list and said, sign me up. Yeah, no, it is not budget. Not at all. I could definitely understand. Like, there's some choices in the deck list that, uh, you know, maybe aren't, you know, the first thing you would think of in Modern Magic. But I assure you, uh, everything is here for a reason. 
M. Hayashi is a uh, bit of a genius when it comes to Red Urza's Saga uh, or Red Obosh lists. Got a lot of respect for, uh, for M. Hayashi. Beaumont remembers when we played, uh, started to play some standards in Amaket days. Really loved the um, the double activate on Beaumont Courier. So you, you activate one, hold priority, activate the other one. And you get to draw all the cards without having to discard anything else. Cool, cool. Hey, no no worries, friend. Just uh, fill in the silence here. Uh, we've got dead air, so if I think of something to say, I'm just going to ramble on. We could try and put a Shadow Spear onto a Bomat Courier. I'm kind of thinking, though, I might like to just go Lava Spike, Spell Bomb, Shadow Spear, and set up for next turn. I'm going to play the Shadow Spear now. Um, I don't think they're going to let this go to three and then try and kill it, but I'm going to try and empty my hand out here so that maybe I can get uh, an activation on a Bowmout Courier. But yeah, like if they're going to kill this one, they're going to kill it right now, right? So we're just going to go to the second main and play Spy Pyrite Spellbomb. Yeah, yeah, Sanctifier is a problem, and, you know, we can fetch it off of the, uh, the Urza's Saga. Boros Charm. Okay, we could still be dead here. Opponent could bolt us. End of turn. Here it comes. We're down to seven. Now, they're going up to three cards in hand, so either three bolts or Boros Charm plus another spell. So, yeah, we could just be dead again. This game... Goblin Guide. Okay, so we are surviving a turn here. Ooh, get a land. Go to five. And we get Swift Spear. Okay, so play Swift Spear, play Spell Bomb. Attack for two, three, four. And then spell bomb them for six, so that's not lethal. We could play Swift Spear, equip Swift Spear, smash him for four, go up to seven. Kind of feel like we might want to leave a Bomat Courier back as a blocker. Could also crack the Courier draw four cards. I tapped my mana wrong. I needed to use this for a colorless source. Now I'm taking a damage for no reason. Oh, deflecting palm. Didn't expect that in this matchup.
Hmm. I kind of feel like we screwed this one up. I mean, the deflecting palm is a pain, but tapping the other uh, wrong lands here really put us under a uh, bit of pressure here. All right, let's see if we're dead. Uh, I think we should be. Yep. Exaxes. With the uh, Soken Zen. What? Why? Didn't... What? What? Why, though? Uh, the only thing I can think of is they hit uh, a shortcut key twice, or um misclicked somewhere because they had the win i'm sorry opponent i guess oh no it's shadow again don't think this is a good hand versus shadow Spike Field Hazard. I'm thinking I just want to start making constructs here. Let's play Saga Spellbomb. Ooh, really kind of hanging here. Okay. And we get to hold up removal for Ragavan here. Either with a Pyrite Spell Bomb or with a Spike Field Hazard. Going to hit zero. So we can just go to the end step here. Um, they're not going to be dashing a Ragavan, so... Don't need to worry about that. And since we're passing to end step, we'll still get a chance to respond if they play something here. I think I'm going to leave the spell bombs where they are to give extra power and toughness to the constructs. Bomat Courier. Okay, well, you could be good later. Mountain pass. Get to make it three three. Now his opponent just going to immediately remove this one? No, they're going to wait? Okay. 
Got a lightning bolt on top. Can create another construct. And go get a Beaumont Courier. couple large constructs and a tiny construct. think that, uh, okay, yeah, one of our big ones getting terminated here. They have the lightning bolt, the unholy heat for the Bowmat Courier. It's not getting in for any damage here. But we did get two cards out of their hand for one of our lands, and we've still got some value from the land. There is a Saga. What a card. Speaking of good cards, opponent has Expressive Iteration, their second one. The Reveal of Darcy. We got the Lightning Bolt to answer that. Oh, it's not even big yet. So we can answer that with a Spike Field Hazard. Let's grow the Karnstruct, attack in for six. And we've got six damage just sitting right here. Seven if we use the Lightning Bolt. Uh, let's start with a Synthesizer. Grow the Karnstruct. Reveal Skewer the Critics. All right, let's attack. Alright, so I have Fatal Push for my Construct. They've finally taken care of my uh, my Urza land there. Took a Terminate, an Unholy Heat, and a Fatal Push to answer my Urza Saga. Seems good. Cast with Spectacle. This card is Delectable. Okay, pass turn. And they scoop. I mean, we just have lethal right here, right? So these can't be countered. We just got to wait until we untap and then we can finish. So I was thinking before when I was playing this matchup that Blast Zone and Magus of the Moon would be pretty good. But I mean, like that Urza Saga was absolutely game winning. They had to spend so many resources to answer it. So I'm wondering, is it, you know, the right way to go to be bringing in Magus of the Moon and Blast Zone, taking out Urza Saga, when this card did so much work to win us that game? do kind of like the idea of Blast Zone, though. Um, being able to get rid of their Shadows, uh, their Ragavans, their Darcy's. It's a lot of colorless lands, though. If we're keeping Blast Zone and Urza Saga. Could take out some Spike Field Hazard. They're not too hot.
not really happy with this hand, but got a lot of direct damage going on here. And synthesizer to reload. We'll keep Bolt up here as an option against the Ragavan. All right, so here comes iteration, taking a little bit of pain from the fiery eyelet. And we've got 12 damage to uh, to introduce them to here. Oh, wow, and they're at 13. We can put them to one here. Ah, uh, not a bolt. Okay. Um, All to your face. <laughs> and they use the fiery eyelet. Fantastic. Love that. I mean, that is one of the big reasons why I decided to uh, attack the opponent's life total there rather than killing the Ragavan. It took fiery eyelet off the table as a land that they could use for mana. They couldn't use a fetch land. So they were really stuck on, uh, on their resources. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here. A lot of cool stuff. Keep this. Up against Giganta for a third time. Is this the time it'll be Tron? Or is this uh, Grixis Shadow again? Grixis Shadow for the third time! Oh, the untapped steam vents to unholy heat, my swift spear. So long, swift spear. I would like to kill that, but then we don't get a construct.
All right, we're making constructs. Ooh, expressive iteration. Good one for the opponent. Set them up for their second spell so this Ledger Shredder can get some work done and get it out of our Lightning Bolt range. Also, a very good blocker, Ledger Shredder. Oh, okay. Their critters are both still 1-3s. That's nice. They discarded a land to the first Shredder, and then the second Shredder doesn't get activated, because this is, like, the third spell, of course. Okay, so they saw that we were drawing Synthesizer... Hats off, you say? All right. Now we're going to be Vikings. Let's go. Let's get another Spell Bomb here. More damage. Uh, Urza's Saga is kind of nice. We could also set up Skewer. Let's uh, attack in, and then maybe we can um, kill one of their birds if we like. Could also just hold this Skewer. Could Skewer them, put them to five, and then we have two Spell Bombs and two uh, four fours. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for Ledger Shredder, but like with their life total so low, it is like difficult to decide which way to go on that, I think anyway. Because with them being at five, then the two Pyrite spell bombs put them to one. So we have two very strong attackers here, and they're just going to get better when we play Synthesizer. Oh yeah, of course, if it's lethal, it's different, but close to lethal, you know, like putting pressure on an opponent means they can't fetch, for example. Bomat Courier. So let's see here. We could start with Synthesizer, make these 5-5s. Five we could just attack before doing anything. I, I kind of like them making 5-5s five because then the Pyrite Spell Bombs are lethal, right? At least we can try and make them 5-5s. Five okay, nice. Uh, yeah, not going to play that. Go to combat. So they get to kill one Karnstruck like that. Oh, they have another spell. Terminate. Ah, lame. We've already played a spell, so if we play another one, they get to connive again. I think I'm just going to put uh, Obosh in hand here.
Ragavan was a pretty good play for them. Uh, Rift Bolt's not too hot. Oh, there's a shadow. They just got all the things now. Still, we're just a lightning bolt away. Ooh, we draw a mountain. That's not the thing. Remnap ruins plus pyrite. Pyrite puts them to one. What are we going to do here? We could play the Ruins, play the Bomat Courier, activate the Saga, try and win next turn. Ooh, that's aggressive. Makes me want to block. Oh, that has a whole lot of critters. I think we're just off by one. Should have counted a little bit better here. Could Den of the Bugbear block here, block here, take one, go to four. This costs four, they both cost four. Did I miscount somewhere? Needed an extra mana. I wonder if I could have done that some way, somehow different. I don't have the mana for that, right? Yeah. Uh, reveal another land. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess we lose.
Come on, opponent. Send them all in. There you go. Oh, and they have a removal spell too. Drown in the lock. Uh, Shadow Spear is in the sideboard. Okay, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we go to one here. If they have Lightning Bolt, we lose. Otherwise, we win. Oh, but the Ragavan is going to reveal a card off the top of our deck. And that's going to be probably like Lightning Bolt to kill us. The thing is, like... That's fine. So our choice is... We can kill Rag with the bomb. And then we get to play Obosh. We have one land. And spell bomb them for four, which isn't lethal. So we're gambling on that top card. If the top card is a Lightning Bolt, and we don't kill Ragavan, we die. If it's a lightning bolt and we do kill Ragavan, then we win. I mean, it's a gamble either way, regardless. The thing is, we have a lot of um, bolts in the deck that opponent can use to kill us. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. I think that the odds are just way too high for, them, for us to die here. We're going to uh, kill a Ragavan. And then we might as well use this spell bomb to hit them after damage as well. They have one card in hand. I suppose Ragavan. Kill Ragavan. Face. Yeah, we kill. Hit this with that. We hit them with this. And then the Den of the Bugbear maybe wins. All right, let's see what's on top. Ragavan. So yeah, I think it's just Den. No way! We actually managed to win that one. Amazing! We're going to have to watch out for our time now. Woo! Lucky, lucky. So again, we have the question, do we want to bring in Magus of the Moon versus this deck? Um, I found that we've been having better success with Urza Saga, just, you know, like, getting those constructs, forcing them to answer our tokens. We just get so much value out of this land, I don't feel like I want to try and move in on the moon. They also just have a lot of ways to be able to kill the Magus of the Moon um, if we're, you know, like, going that route. So we try and play Magus to land, screw them, and then they just unholy heat the Magus and laugh. Shadow Spear could be interesting. Why Magus instead of Blood Moon? Um, it doesn't die to Beseju. Um, it's a creature that we can attack with, which is good just for like the plan in general, but also because of Obosh. But it does have other weaknesses, where it's weak to Lightning Bolt and um, uh, Solitude.
Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so they're starting out with a critter. I think we're going to start out with a critter too. You want to trade your 1-1 for mine? Uh, their answer is a no. They don't want to trade Darcy for Bomat. Oh, okay. Well, they have the answer to the Bomat Courier right there. Unholy Heat takes care of my uh, artifact creature. I think we're probably playing uh, Urza Saga Shadow Spear Lightning Bolt on our turn. that critter oh no way they have a spell pierce woof another Darcy blast zone looking pretty good Oh, but the Alpine Moon for the Urza Saga. Brutal. Oh, that Alpine Moon took all the value out of our Urza Saga and the wind out of our sails. Okay, they're just attacking with these things as 1-1s. One That's not the worst. Another Urza Saga. It's not going to work yet, but we're going to get that Blast Zone out soon, and then we can do some stuff. So let's uh, play the Ruins and put uh, Obosh into our hand here. The next turn we can get rid of... We can 3-for-1 with our land. Nothing scarier than bolting the face of a shadow player. Hey, x -Granum. Okay, yeah, that dress down gives them the uh, the three threes. Oh, that's true. It does kill this stuff. Oh, the blast zone is looking so good right now. Yeah, blows up our synthesizer. Oh no. Still, it's uh, obviously worth doing. Um, do we wait here? I don't think we give them an opportunity to do too much with this stuff, but I might like to activate the Blast Zone on upkeep. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Donut. Read that as I'm cracking. Of course, I should wait for Ragavan. I was thinking I didn't want to give them the um, the surveils. All right, worked out. So we can play Urza's Saga and then get a pair of 2-2s in attack. Or, sorry, a pair of 1-1s, I mean. Coming in with spirit tokens. Counter spells aren't doing too much here. Back to our turn, okay.
We could Den of the Bugbear, that, but that makes any of their removal good. We could Urza's Saga. We could play Obosh. I think I'm going to kind of play it slow here. Make a Karnstruct. So we're just not playing into any counter magic. Make them use their removal um, on another turn. And then with a Lightning Bolt and these two Spirits, that's lethal without the Karnstruct or the Bomat Courier or anything. I wonder, are we getting Bomat Courier or are we getting um, Spell Bomb? Probably just get Spell Bomb. That's interesting. Good blast zone here. Construct block. Kind of like construct block. So this does give them another mana. So they'll have two mana. They will have Counterspell open if this hits. So we could just hit this and then hit him with Den of the, Den of the Bugbear. And they'll need Fatal Push. Okay, Spell Pierce. That's fine. That means that now they actually have uh, just again the one mana from the treasure. So very few things here they can use to stop the Den of the Bugbear. Although that is a blocker. Hey, thanks for the follow, friend. Hey, is that true hero? Thank you so much for the raid. So we don't have enough mana to ruins and spell bomb. Oh, yeah, but we do have the one floating. Duh. Okay, yeah, we absolutely have enough mana. Thank you. I did play this correctly. I just lost my place. All right, we're good. Figured it out. Found the line. And we got 3-2. After uh, going 0-2 to start, 3-2 the hard way. And look at that. 2-0-2-0-2-0. Alright, friends. Uh, so this is the deck that we were playing today. Um, a uh, M. Hayashi masterpiece in red. So definitely had a ton of fun with this. Um... Just as, just as far as, you know, like, did I enjoy my time playing this deck? Absolutely. 100%. I love this style of deck. I love Urza's Saga. I love Bomat Courier. I love Obosh. I love Swift Spear. There's a lot of stuff going on here that I just, like, 
um, speaks to me as a Magic player. Uh, we definitely had, you know, like the pressure that we were able to put on our opponents um, was similar to Burn. The question is, you know, like, why are we playing this deck instead of Burn, right? Like, we're able to do a similar thing with a Burn deck. Uh, I think, you know, like the, the Urza Sagas are definitely a big reason why you might want to consider uh, this list here. Also, Den of the Bugbear, while, you know, like we don't necessarily have... Um, as much, you know, like consistent turn four kill, um, we're a lot better th against counter spells. So, you know, like, okay, well, I'm going to spend, you know, three turns with my Urza's Saga. Uh, your counter spells do nothing. That seems pretty good. Uh, I think that I definitely liked the Monastery Swift Spear in the main. Um, during the leagues, I was kind of talking about how in the original version, M. Hayashi had a Relic of Regenitus in the main. And just like speaking personally, I really like to have that extra hasty threat in the deck so that um, more often we're going to be able to resolve a, a creature on turn one. So I want to be able to get, you know, like a Swift Spear, a Ragavan, or a Bowman Courier onto the board turn one so we can just get started, start applying pressure, and then from there we can move into, you know, like Urza Saga or Synthesizer or whatever. Um, definitely like, you know, like the option of Shattering Spree. While we didn't see it uh, to any effect in our matches, the card is awesome for a couple of reasons. With uh, the deck having so many one drops, we need an answer to Chalice. And then also, it's just really good against Hammer Time. Uh, the Magus and the Moon were definitely a little bit um, on the disappointing side. Maybe I'm just like not bringing it in for the right matchups. We didn't see Tron, we didn't see Titan. So, you know, I think those are probably the matchups where we really want Magus of the Moon. And then um, I think that we, I was probably just hurting myself with Magus in the matches that I actually brought it in. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, uh, what can I say? Um, I recommend this deck. I think it's a lot of fun. If you are if you have the cards, you know, like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not, you know, like an economy deck. It's not a budget deck. Uh, a lot of the cards in here are pretty expensive, but, you know, if you have the Sagas, you have the Den of the Bugbear, you have the Ragavans, then this deck is just a blast to play. So give it a shot.